Oh, my neighbors are gonna love me. All right, guys, in Manic Creeper Tools today, we are gonna have a little bit of fun. We are gonna use the big Hilti TE60-22, but we are gonna use these huge bits, and we're also gonna use the vacuum, all right? So when it comes to the specs of these tools, that'll be at the end of the video, but let's do the tool test first. And what I wanna do is I wanna see how well this performs with a 2.5, 4, 8 amp, and 12 amp hour battery. We're gonna see if this tool can do the same task with these as a 12 amp hour battery, just in case if you don't have a 12 amp hour battery on you. Out of all the years of doing these uh, concrete tests, I can't believe I never showed you guys how much these uh, concrete blocks actually weigh. Oh, let's see. This weighs 90 pounds. It weighs 90 pounds. Yeah, I can't wait to, to test this out. Too bad the vacuum doesn't come with a backpack attachment. I'd love to wear that on my back. All right, let's see what this can do. Damn, dude, that thing is awesome. How many inches is that total? Yeah, I'm not sure what the time is when it comes to what it just did, but 15, uh, 15 inch, one inch in diameter, all the way through three blocks of concrete that are 90 pounds each. As you can see, even going through three blocks of concrete, no dust anywhere, no dust on the on the wood, you know, just the the just the broken pieces of the of the actual block. Yeah, but this vacuum and vacuum attachment is actually uh, OSHA one compliant and uh, HEPA compliant as well, and it's 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 awesome. Yeah, but yeah, that's with a 12 amp hour battery. Let's do another hole. Like I said, I wish I had the vacuum the the backpack attachment for this. And for how big this tool is and what the applications are for it, my arm does not feel fatigued. Now, yeah, I only did two holes, but at the same time, I don't do this every day. For someone that never had to use a tool this big before, it really isn't that bad to use. It really isn't. All right, but let's actually go to a bigger bit. It's very easy to take this out. Done. Just to show you the difference of the size of the bit. So next, let's do this one. This bit is one and three eighths. That should be able to see that. One and three eighths. Now 
that's on. All right, we're gonna do one hole with this, then we're actually gonna switch back to the other one and test out the, uh, on one concrete block. As you can see, we have three. We're gonna test it out on one concrete block and see on if this tool could even use a 2.5 amp hour battery. Now, like I said, there is no vacuum attachment for this one. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be crazy. and I made it stall. I made it stall. Now, I do not know what the actual depth you're supposed to use with this, but I want to go all the way. And that's what we do on this channel. We even make tools like this stall. All right, we got it. So let's uh, continue. It was just, it, it just jammed. Yep, that is on hammer feature one. Let's put it to full power again. Now we're gonna continue. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Now, like I said, I have never used a tool like this, never needed to even when I was in construction. Yeah, so it's now free flowing. It's all the way to the chuck, as you can see. I do wanna get the chisel attachment because I do have like about eight of these blocks that I just wanna completely destroy and chop up. See, I have, a, I have a ton of these blocks so I actually could test stuff out like this. Just gotta stack them up. Like, that's such a torture test right there. Got it. Now look at that. That is seriously a bad mamma jamma. 19 and a quarter inches. This bit is 19 and a quarter inches. I just drilled out. All right, but I had to have the vacuum, which is good. So let's vacuum that up really quick. I do think, I do think that it's awesome that the vacuum actually clears out its own filter like that. It's such a cool sound. All right, so let's do a battery test. Let's see if a 2.5, a four and an eight could even attempt to do the one inch bit. 2.5 amp hour, battery is full. I'm curious. And I'm also curious if it's gonna ruin the battery. Yeah, that. <laughs> There's a lot of space left in there. Let's see if it'll even turn on. It does. Let's see what the 2.5 can do. Oh, that's it. All 
All right, the 2.5 amp hour battery stopped after, I'd say, a half an inch. So let's go to the four amp hour. All right, so yeah, just a, roughly about a half inch so far. Let's see what the 4.4 amp hour can do. We're gonna continue on the same hole. All right, that is where the four amp hour cut out. All right, so battery, battery on the four amp hour is still full. It's just too much for the battery. So I'm gonna assume that for safety, the tool cut itself off. All right, so let's see if the eight amp hour battery can finish. Eight amp hour is full. Yes, it did. I'm gonna assume that because if the last like four inches it just drove all the way through, I'm gonna assume it just cracked the the concrete. I just yeah, we're just gonna assume that it cracked the concrete at the bottom, which we'll take a look really quick because it doesn't. This does not go all the way to the to the wood. It stops like about halfway in between the third one. So, so yeah, not too shabby. As you can see, because of the work, it did make this crack. Got a nice crack right here. Got chunks missing. And so yeah, it's a powerful tool. This, these two is a perfect combination for each other. As you can see, that's where that is. That's where that is, so not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So as you can see that this is actually a bad mamma jamma. I think this tool is awesome. It has its great purpose, which do I have a use for this tool? I do not. But my friend actually, uh, my friend Matt actually said that he might need this in the future. So I will be more than happy to let you borrow it. And so, yeah, but when it comes to the batteries, we did about four holes with different size bits and we have one bar, uh, sorry, we have three bars remaining and used up one bar. So you'll get a decent amount of holes per charge. And of course, when it comes to this tool, regular uh, users of this don't go as deep as I do uh, on a regular basis. They go an X amount of inches. I went all the way through. And so I'm not saying that they don't, but I'm saying most of the, most of the time when someone uses this, they'll do an X amount of inches. But you guys saw the power of this. It drove in these bits like, like nothing. Very little effort on my part. Like I said, there is an attachment for this, which I am gonna buy because I seriously want the chisel attachment to where I can just can break apart these, these blocks like nothing. So that video will be coming. This is AVR technology, ATG technology. Actually, let's test that out really quick. Oh, power on. <laughs> Just like that, trigger still pulled. So it's it's good to have. And like I said in a previous video, Hilti is the one that actually uh, invented that. All right, now that you saw on how this works, let's go over the tool and vacuum itself. All right, there are three modes. Like I said, I cannot wait to test the chisel part of this. Just put a battery in there just to show you. All right, there is a power button. And there is two modes. There is low and then there's high. And there is a lock up here. So if you just have it on hammer mode, if you push that lock in, it'll lock it in place. So that's a good feature to have. So you don't have to always constantly pull the trigger. It's a nice size trigger. Get your whole hand, you get all four fingers in there. 
The chuck is easy to use. You just slide the bit in and when you want to release it, you pull this back. It takes a little mite because it is very secure in there, which is what you want. You do not want these bits falling out at all. So then you just uh, pop that back, slide the bit out, then you're good to go. It does have a handle that rotates to work whatever position you need it to. And I might be mistaken on this. There's a wrench right here, and I think that lights up if something's wrong with the tool. I might be wrong on that. And that is the Hilti TE60-22. All right, and when it comes to the vacuum, the vacuum was running for a while, even if when I wasn't using the tool just to see, and the battery is still at full bars. There's some features on here. Bluetooth, so I think you can control it from your device so you don't have to walk all the way back to the vacuum to turn it off. You just can whip out your phone and bam. There's eco mode. Instead of low, they call it eco. There is an auto filter cleaning, which that's the pop that you hear, which I think is a fantastic feature. Or you can manually do it yourself, which the auto feature, I mean, I'm guessing the auto feature will actually drain the battery a little bit more. But I'd rather have that than not have that. If you open up the inside, it's really the same thing as any vacuum. There is a filter in there that is... Uh, that is secure in there, then there is also an additional bag. It's a vacuum. It's, it's pretty simple. You guys saw how it's used, and it's actually an awesome Mamma Jamma. This is Hilti VC140-2-22, and so yeah, this is a very, very awesome vacuum that does its job. See handle that, uh, just put it in a position to carry it around, and if you do get the, uh, the backpack attachment, it goes in here. And as you guys saw, it comes with a decently sized hose, which is actually very essential for this type of work. It does get attached to the vacuum bits. This is model number uh, TEYD. It is a one inch bit that actually has uh, a cavity inside, so it actually could suck up all the dust that you are making to, like I said, to keep OSHA compliant. But yeah, it's very, very innovative, and I love on how this actually is but like I said I wish I had the vacuum uh the backpack so I just want to do this video for you guys to show you how these tools actually work and th they're actually awesome they like you can't deny that these tools are awesome like like that's you you just can't that's pretty much you guys plenty of videos coming out I got tons of content to film still and so if you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is Dave Nicholas thank you for tuning in I'll see you guys next time <music>